Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, we're going to talk, I guess, about bounty and the uh, continual evolution of the Harrower. Um, uh, the link's on the right-hand side in case anybody would like to join. And uh, how are you doing, uh, Magic Mike? I'm doing okay for a Friday. Thank you very much for asking. I hope everybody else is all right. Okay. And Lady Cat? Hello. KB? Yeah, fine and dandy. Good. And Derpy? I don't know about you, but I think there's going to be devil to pay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of which, let's uh, let's go to BP next week. There we go. Um, the 1040 update contains support for the September special event, which is uh, Devil to Pay, which was teased uh, by Derpy. And uh, three great campaigns. Um, and, and one of them is new, the High Ground Everest campaign, which will be... Uh, Maybe that's the reason they pushed the the campaign for the Gladius to last week. I don't know. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, and um, CM Diary, and then we have the uh, uh, special event, Devil to Pay, um, Mutineers um, to hit two co-op X targets or go solo on the eight target for your chance to earn great tier 9.5 siege tech and other great prizes. I think probably the people that are prepared for this don't need the tier 9.5 siege tech unless it's new, which I seriously doubt it is. But you know, considering our glut of FM coins at this point in time, it wouldn't bother me. And uh, I'm assuming it's mostly gonna be a skin event. So, oh, Derby's favorite kind. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so, um, it's always good to have skin in the game. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, but, um, the Everest campaign has me, uh, oh, and also in the 4.1 update, you know, uh, I saw it earlier, but expect to see, uh, Sword of Legion again. So, so that's that's next week again, which is is next week the mystery week? Yeah, next week's the mystery week, or is this week the mystery week? This week is the mystery week, and then next week is going to be pillage. The following week is going to be pillage. Okay, so we'll be having that sort of legion using our siege things, <clears throat> using our gladius during during the um, pillage, where we'll be using garrison and assault. Yes. Okay. So, um, um, maybe we'll get upgrade tokens and kits in it. Uh, maybe, maybe we're going to get the armors. My uh, guess is, uh, upgrade tokens, kits, some other random stuff. 5,000 energy, you know. 5,000 energy for the high ground. Uh, I'm talking about the high ground Everest campaign. I was talking about the uh, the special event, but okay, the, yeah, the, the, the special event. Is probably... Special event. I yeah, I think we know what that is. We've seen that, um, seen that type of event before. But I'm thinking the high the high ground Everest uh, campaign is one I find to be most interesting. Um, I'm thinking, uh, is this where we see the new armor or uh, potentially an engine or? Um, they, they could they could do a lot of things. It could be a direct copy of the um, the other sort of legion, High Seas Heresy. Just swap prices could be a brand new thing. Could be a completely different mechanic. There's not a lot of history here to predict. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's the one I find uh, interesting out of uh, out of the grouping. Seven one eighty targets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you have to hit you have to hit seven one eighty targets to get one Everest token. Mm hmm Yes. And a, and a two hour repair token. Alrighty. Um 
Well, let's if we don't have any anything else on BP next week. Um, if not, let's go back to the calendar. All righty. Uh, right now it is September. Um, whoops. Okay, went back another step. Um, we go forward. Well, yeah, yeah, because we've discussed. We don't really have much else on that one. Um, so right now we have the, as we just discussed, we'll have this upcoming week is the special activity that's, uh, that says NA. Yes. Yes. So North America means <laughs> yes. Got it. Yes. To be Canadian. And then, you know, the dates to be Canadian and then North America is the status, um, followed by the following week is Zealot and Everest in the, in the pillage. Um, followed by the the raid with the gladius the last uh, the last raid for the uh, the gladius as the primary and then you know as you might expect and then um, one more click alrighty um, you know basically what we've just described um, and the only new information here is pretty much is that the uh, and the next assault hall, uh, hall is going to be the photon ECM. So, which again doesn't make sense to me because photon is light particles, but you know, like ECM would imply like electronics. So electrons, you know, I I don't think to check with the science team on this one. Yeah. yeah so, well, speaking of, I guess we can go to the next slide. And speaking of the, uh, I'm not sure. Um, well, not this. One, one more. Alrighty, the bounty thirty-seven discussion. And well, I, I guess think, I should talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of, uh, I'm not sure which team they discuss the. Uh, I guess one more slide. I think it's the next. It's the next one. Prizes? No. Here we go. Is the Conqueror flagship? Um, I'm not sure what teams were consulted in the construction and testing of this. It's gone through a few, uh, a bit of an evolution, uh, but it's still, in order to be a um, fair gameplay part of the game, it, it needs to uh, encounter a, a, some more selective uh, uh, pressures as far as its evolution. Um, Jerpy, you've probably been following this closer than I have. Um, they have sort of fixed the wrecking ball cannon issues. Uh, I don't know that they've fixed it on display. Uh, I don't know if that's still a huge issue, but I guess the big issue right now is that even in the deep dive, uh, it's visible to your base's uh, uh, turrets and ships, um, providing the ability to... Uh, use it as a um, invulnerable uh, tank. Is that correct? Yeah, that's uh, that's sort of how things are working. Um, it, it's still, the hole is still not working as intended. Yeah. So yeah, like it's currently, I mean, like you said, thermal and sonar can currently spot it um, in deep dive which isn't supposed to happen. I, I don't exactly know. I haven't really seen this thing in action. I haven't been following it too closely. I don't know if this makes it better or worse because it could distract now, but it, it's it's supposed to be just untouchable while it's moving. And then when it stops, it gets hit and can also shoot at things. Uh, Sean's disappointed in, with the Howard from Bounty. I mean, as an owner or as a... Uh, recipient um, I don't know because from what what I've been able to pick up people can use this to lead and all of the turrets and um, ships are firing at it uh, basically just but it's invulnerable to the turrets and so therefore it's uh, uh, all the other ships that are following it can take everything out um, and I, I and it's, that's the problem I know that's existing now. I know at one point the wrecking ball cannon was also be able to attack uh, uh, turrets and, and take them out. Uh, um, 
take them out immediately. Uh, I've built it, failed in bases. I usually get into with five hounds. Um, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe it's the, 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 somehow the, the technique and some, maybe some bases are more vulnerable to it than others. Um, I don't know. I have not, I've seen little snippets of it, but I have not, uh, um, I obviously don't own it or have it built. So, uh, um, yep, just now, the captains, we've fixed the issue where defenders were spotting the harrower, resulting in turrets firing on it. Thank you again for your patience. So that is no longer uh, supposedly an issue at this point in time. So that's been fixed. So, all righty. Um, how, how did they not know this stuff? It, apparently it was tested, but then they made an update right before it went live and didn't test that update. Um, I, I don't know. It seems like they failed in communicating how the whole works and how the whole is, and also how it actually works. Yeah, how it's so, supposed to work and how it's actually working is and yeah. communicating well, how this works. Right. So what we have here is a failure of communication. Isn't That's that one a of the line? failures. Isn't that a line from a movie? It's cool hand Luke. I've yeah. heard that before, yeah. Yep. Yeah, what's the last time? I mean, well, we've seen a lot better than what's just happened here. Um, so, I, I mean, I think the the Everest came out, the Gladius came out with with no real with no real issues that I recall. This is, you know, at this point in time, the the stat blocks are still wrong in some instances. You know, they're not showing the. 200% or was it uh, 200, 200,000? 200, 200 multiplier, which is 200,000%. Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's and, only 20,000. It's pretty much been all the uh, Defender Conqueror holes that lately that they've stuffed up every time. When, well, there's when it been a newer person working on those, um, which he likes to do strange, funky, weird things. That have never been done before, which is probably why we're running into issues. Yeah, and I, I don't, I still don't understand at this point why they chose to put a. It's it's the weapon, or, or why don't they just put the damage in the original in the weapon as opposed to having a hidden multiplier in the ship? I've got no idea. I mean, it should have just said this thing deals 100 million damage split over 10 shots, and mm -hmm. it's it's the designer isn't the one of the coders or engineers for this, so I'm not blaming a particular person. I, I'm just saying they're the team is trying new things and doing new things, and it's not working very well in terms of a how it actually works in the game. Concept wise, kind of fun, sure, but yeah. yeah. So um, I don't know. Is there uh, besides that? I mean, is there much else to cover this week? <laughs> I mean, it's sort of a uh, I'm not doing bounty, so I can't talk about bounty. Kind of been one of those weeks, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, John, it did have building damage there for uh, uh, several hours. That's for two why. hours. Yeah, yeah. Which is why they just gave out, from what I can tell, the 25k and bounty for people that were participating. They originally said end of the day, but I don't know that this is the end of the end day. End of day, but time zones don't exist, and they, they should have just said if you opt into Bounty by 3 p.m. kickside time on Friday, you will get the points. Yeah, yeah, because I was trying to, Is that does that mean midnight, or what does that mean? And just for the people that wanted to log in or join Bounty just to get the free points, but it appears that that time has passed. So, although if you opt in now, will you still get it? Is it a rolling thing that I don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony just received the point, so I am guessing um, that party is over for people that have not uh, already joined Bounty. So, dang. Yep. Well, twenty-five thousand points could get you two shards, three shards. 
Well, yeah. Well, plus, if you join, you're going to get how much? I don't know. Yeah. You know, as far as because you need uh, 27,000 to get three. Right? Yeah. 27. Yeah. Yeah. So 1,200, I think, is the normal allocation from memory. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, join the game and then let it get to one, um, you know, one um, bounty allocation, you, you could get three. So, uh, but it seems like that uh, that is passed. Um, Derpy would be happy to do that for you if you, you said know, right after uh, right after thirty you days of build coins tokens for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got I've got seven days of build tokens, so I just need twenty three, and, and we'll be good. It um, I, I was thinking about putting because I I guess I I sort of did Kickstarter's job for them by making a forum post that explained how the thing worked because their stat block did not, which I was thanked for doing. Um. But this hole is basically a specialized guard ship that can't go through portals and is supposed to be invincible while moving. And it only hits damages ships, not buildings. Yeah, and you can, yeah. I, I did see some people talk about, you know, um, the idea of using this as a outside your base guard. There, people are right now, and it is almost impossible to beat this thing with Warhounds. I saw someone saying their one Harrower had beat seven Warhound fleets in a row and without repairing. Mm -hmm. But but couldn't you also just put some waypoints and just have it circle the whole time? You probably could, and you do have to be online to have this thing um, yeah. be insanely powerful, but... It, it is almost impossible to, at least the, from because of the sheer number and damage armor points this thing has versus our Conqueror, and I don't know if Interceptors can hit, it's really, really powerful. Yeah. Well, and just the fact that with just the mechanic, if you keep it moving the entire time, your base well, can't be hit. You can't, you can't kill what you can't see, allegedly. Yeah. Or you can see it, well, um, but uh, you can't do any damage to it. So, but supposedly that was just fixed. So, um, I don't know, John. If you want to, uh, you could hop on and uh, hit a base so people could see how it works. Because I don't think many people have that. Uh, the links uh, up above, if you're interested, as far as because um, you know. A lot of times people are just getting their idea of the, the mechanics of this from, uh, you know, descriptions and maybe some short little videos here and there. So, And the description right now to go for is is not one provided by Kickstarter. Yeah. But that, yeah. Well. I'm not going to get into that one too much. <laughs> congratulations, Derby. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. Um, I, I just read that form post. Yeah, so you got 10 gold coming your way? I got 10 gold. <laughs> the Cowbreaker Everest. I, mean, I probably spent hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours total, more like an hour and a half. Um, if I'd figured out and had the skills, it would have taken earlier. But, you know, I I got 10 gold for an hour worth of work. On there my you go. Yeah, I, tried to, I, tried I, doing it, I was doing it for the fun and the competition. I don't care about 10 gold. <laughs> yeah, 10 gold doesn't <laughs> really help. Yeah, you need, to, you need to win some more competitions if you're uh, you're going to get that uh, hair wear built in time. I, so. I sure am. <laughs> yeah. I like the uh, HTML5. We're all doomed, Art. Right? That was a good one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Should we go through them? I mean, you no. know. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, we have one yes vote, one no vote, it sounds like at this point. <laughs> Der Derpy seems quite excited about this. Are you, is that where you're, you're going to? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I didn't take it off to present. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know either. 
So, uh, yeah, if you want to show that, Derpy, you're going to have to. Uh, uh, okay, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Lady Cat seems uh, anti air air <laughs> No, no. I thought I'm I'm glad there'd be one something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I, mine were mine weren't very good, but I was was right before I went on vacation, so did the best okay. I could. Okay, art contest. You had to make your own art. Most of people did electronic art, right? Because because it's easiest. I don't know. Um. Let's see. Sweepy had an amazing disco overlord carrier, except uh, one person didn't like it. So Kixai user 144941390010008 did not like that. And but uh, Sweepy was one of the. Uh, she she was uh, tied for you for third, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so this is probably the one that got third. Yeah, uh, here's another one by Sweet Pea, and I don't think that was the winner. I don't, I don't think. I think this one was the winner. Yeah, I think so. Um, well. Here was my Cowbreaker Everest. You know, I, I very thought it was nice. Clever. I, I, I did incorporate the, some suggestions to put more black and white on here from a few people, yeah. such as Lady Cat. So. Yeah, yeah. The the, the pink. I was I, I was surprised to see the pink in this uh, it's pattern. The others. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, alrighty. Okay. All right. Here's a, here's, let's see, Kixai doing some players first. They're controlling you. Kixai is controlling the player while the fox is watching them. Yeah. Pretty good fox. Pretty good uh, marionette. At least the yeah. three-dimensional face, you know. Yeah, I thought that this was quite impressive. Here's some weird uh, speed speedboat. So there you go. Yeah. Um, here's a, here's some pirate looking stuff. Yeah, from, yeah. What, no fun. Yeah, we talked about this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beefy sub with the with the thud cannon on it. You know, if you maybe if you put a torpedo on there, you would have won. You never know. Hey, 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 what's going off the back of it? Um, I think these are some air bubbles. I, it could be. You know, you, you got the exhaust. Maybe it's. I don't know. Maybe it's it's. Burning diesel because most most subs that are uh, not nuclear, they use they use diesel on the surface to recharge batteries, and they're not they're not uh they're not putting off air bubbles from exhaust. Um, well, maybe maybe it's screws different. you. You don't know the high tech Russian sub yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's what KB. Maybe yeah. it screws you. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't and, recycle uh, air. And. Uh, all right. Well, here we've got a uh, a a hole that looks like the Mako to me. If any of you remember that, apparently based off the of Katie's, you know, this was a pretty good. You know, this is art on a physical medium. Yeah. I thought it was quite quite interesting. The shading, you know, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Took some time. Here's here's some pasta brews. Yeah, he came in second with this, which yeah. I thought he did pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, you have a new sea wolf, super sea wolf, some really interesting stuff here. Go read the post. Look at the post. He should have tied for first place. Yeah, and this is this is a physical hand drawn medium, you know, with with a pen too. I thought this was impressive. Yep, I did too. Um, yeah, you have the original rough draft, and you get to the advanced one with the upgrades. You know, extra evade, boost in damage, extra survival, evade, speed damage. Here's a crywolf missile. When it hits you, the enemies turn around and run away. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. And uh, yeah, that's quoting it. Uh, your your Hyperion is not moving for some reason, probably because it's sideways. It's trying to row. With, with without an oar, you know, there's nothing at the end here. You never know. Yeah, yeah, it's a broomstick Let's with see. no broom. We're not gonna get in that broom mop that debate that we got on in Discord last week. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, there's, that was a, there's a ruby red uh, cloud breaker, cloud cloud burst Everest. Um, I did try to do the first skin for the Everest because it was pulled up in the mountains, but it failed. Go so. down, go to Kansas. Oh. Yeah. Click your heels three times, or your step three times. It's like blitzing, but easier. <laughs> <sighs> Let's 
let's see. And uh, another mug here for, for fun. Just a candle, which looks oh, horrible yeah. there. In person, it looks really cool. Let's see, and then here's a... Uh, here's the winner. This is the winner, here's, right? Here's the number one. Yeah. Um, which, you know, you, you could argue for this one versus Impossible Bruce. Um, Impossible Bruce, I would say, is the advantage of being a physical medium, but this one is... is, is it's you know, excellent. I good would job. expect something like this from a, from a professional art team. So yeah, did a good job. So there you go, and a, a double monitor setup. You know, art contest. Yeah, John. Maybe it's the second person view, third person view. Yeah, and, and especially considering that's uh, it's uh, Michelangelo. Considering it's look at the Mona Lisa mid over there so that's that's mm -hmm. as well and uh let's see here's the, here's my all-time favorite <laughs> is that the end <laughs> no just another html5 update yeah i'm really <laughs> surprised they, they didn't at least uh you know give a third third place prize for this yeah I, you know the fox drawing skills are pretty impressive so there you go yeah and that's uh, I don't we have one more here. I, I don't know if, where this where this came from. If they made it themselves or, or found it, wasn't exactly sure on this one. Yeah, that might have been the reason it didn't. Because uh, yeah, this yeah, I see yeah, a frog. Be something that was third party. Yeah, I see a frog. So, like, this is a frog, or you see a frog in, inside here? Looking at that, I see a frog. Oh, that was my first yeah, impression. It was a frog. Yep, so uh, Kicksai hates frogs, you heard it here first, and there you go. In uh, your first place, Nova Storm got, what, 100 coin, which, that's nice. Second yeah. place, 25 coin. Third pay, I mean, do Sweet Pea and I each get 10 coin? Did we each get 5 coin? What's going on? Do we have to fight for it? I just... <laughs> yeah, right. you guys need to get in the uh, the Forsaken Arena and decide who gets the 10 coin. Okay, well, but, Battle Royale. Sweet Pea and I yeah. an idea. Yeah. Already. Yeah, there there's your art contest. Very good. Um I don't know. Um what else is there to um to discuss? I mean the link's out there in case anybody has any questions or uh um but I, I don't really see that there's that much to discuss this week. I mean besides the the ever-changing harrower. Um, yep. It's, um, you know, there's not the, uh, normally we have um, the most uh, uh, relevant TLC of the uh, of the week occurring alongside a bounty. Um, but that's not going on this week. Well, that's uh, that's fine by me, I guess. I don't know. I'm at the, I'm at about a hundred thousand points in bounty. I need some more. I've just been tired of hitting the same target, searching the map for ninety seven, hitting it, repairing in base, doing the same thing over and over and over. It's it's just not really a fun event anymore for me. No, that, that's kind of interesting just because it's still new, but it's been the third time I've used it now, doing the same thing. Anyway, KB, you were saying. Uh, yeah, the real issue with bounty is there's only one target that you've got any hope of doing for a reasonable amount of repairs. All the others, you take too much damage. And it seems that all the others spawn far more regularly than what the 97s do. So you spend half your time buddy searching the map trying to find the 97 because every other man and his dog is chasing them. Do you enjoy searching the map for 97s? Uh, no, because after, really? about, after about 15, 20 seconds, it starts to slow everything down as well. You know, dragging your screen across. So, you know, it's just a, a pointless exercise. You know, and the kicks aren't really helping themselves because none of these... None of these targets you can do in one hit unless you're completely stupid. So they're losing out on people wanting to try and blitz. So they, they just don't... 
they're just not looking after the players well enough with it. Why not take some of the damage out of the others and at least give people some options of doing one or two others? Because as I see it, no one's no one's touching the other bases. It's ninety seven or nothing. Yeah, you know, I would try to ninety three and I lost my fleet. Then I did it again and lost my fleet again. So which is um, completely stupid, seeing as though you would think the 93 should be the easiest one and they sort of get a little bit harder as you go up the chain, but that's not the case. Always they, they probably the lowest... avoid some of the flack if they renamed the 93 to 147. Yeah, well, I still don't know why they took the 144 or 142 out. Even though it hadn't been updated, at least, you know, it was one that you could do for a reasonable amount of damage. It, it wasn't free. For, it was, or I guess if, if Hell Swarm's UAVs, it was free. I could do it for half an hour, 40 minutes damage, which yeah, I would I'm, do because I could find the damn thing and it was a little bit more fun. Exactly. And, you know, a lot of other people weren't, weren't chasing it either, so... You, know, you could find them a lot easier, but still, why can't they put a locator on the things? You know, you just yeah. It's. I don't think Kickstarter employees actually play bounty and hit. You know, it, they they've got to know hitting the same target. You, either you hit a ninety-seven and take. And, and hit the same thing over and over, or you take too much damage to another things. Yeah, well, none of the others are really viable. Like you could, you could kill kill off two fleets trying to kill a ninety three. So no one's really going to want to do that, are they? Yeah, and. Um... You know, I don't, I don't have a great solution for what they can do. I, I would, the kicks on employee bases. If you want to make them, yeah. Well, see, they they whack the new tech in them every time around. Why not just leave them as is for, you know, a couple of a couple of seasons at least. You know, give us a bit more of a chance. Because with everything updating, it just makes it even harder because more often than not, you know, we don't have the same technology to, to hit them with in any case. So, you know, it's not helping at all. And I think yeah. the numbers the numbers are just dropping off each, each bounty. You see comments in... Uh, in game that, oh, I'm not doing bounty, I'm sick of it. Too much damage. It's too hard to find targets. Yeah. So, what's your suggestion? Just get rid of bounty, or or fix it in some way? Well, they need make to make the kickstarter employee base easier. Yeah, they need to take some of some of the damage out, and at least you know, give us give us a chance. Yeah, you know, a lot of people will probably do it if if they're taken one to two coins of damage. Yeah, because they keep bumping the points up that you need for shards and stuff like that, so... Well, they didn't bump up the points this this time. No, but they, they, did, high. they did the previous time. Mm -hmm. Like, what was it? that used to be about 90,000 for the new hull, and now it's, when you look at it all, it's 126. <clears throat> with all the shards, and you, it's just a grind fest. And a lot of the people who aren't really that into hitting bases will just do the employee ones in the first the first day and when they come back the second time. That's what I used to do. So, so like, the two things that I sort of hear that might be somewhat solution that they would be relatively easy to implement is I would think is one is run the employee bases the entire time and two put the employee bases in the locator 
so you don't have to go around hunting the map for them. You well, can... that that won't really. Uh, the ninety sevens will probably get into the issue with the one sixties, where everyone's after them, so you can't find them even if they're in the locator because everyone will be looking for them even more now. Okay. Exactly. They need to wind some of the damage back on the on the others. And I don't really them- mind if, if they have the new tech in it as long as you can do it for a reasonable amount of damage. Exactly. If if people know that it, they're not going to kill off half their fleet, they'll have a crack at the other targets. But, you know, when you go in there and lose your fleet and have only killed a quarter of the base, well, you say, well, bugger that. I'm not going to touch that one again. Yeah. So you know, and then if you're only looking for ninety sevens, it becomes a huge grind because you've got to find them, and then you kill them, go back to base, repair, rinse, and repeat. So you would want them more so, because I think the 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 kicks I employ employees that design them have a uh, some degree of competitive nature in them. So as opposed to having them set up that way, um, you would more like them to be set up more like raid targets. You know, where there's, they're testing them as far as their difficulty and, because how do you, I mean, you know, like, okay, you know, because these are their bases, right? So, you know. Yeah, they're their <laughs> bases, but are they using R25 turrets and stuff like that yeah they're using all our all our own tech they follow the rules here um yeah same land tiles same turrets same base power all that stuff yeah and, and if, if i can i can hit a normal player base and i guess before the overlord came out even most times where i won um against a, a decent base with a pretty good person i'd take you know half my fleet three quarters of my fleet in damage if mm-hmm. I have to kill three quarters of my fleet fifty three times, that's not that's not fun. I would prefer to hit you know five challenging targets a day, or even you know four challenging targets a day for four days, rather than a hundred targets, fifty targets for instant repair. Okay. Yeah, it all comes down to being able to do it for a reasonable amount of coins. And, and seat time. Yeah. yeah, like we we understand that Kix has got to make some dough out of it. but I'm And I'm more happy to spend if I am going to be having fun and not grinding. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we, we've run across this with the, how long, there was what, uh, two months ago or um, a month ago? When they they basically doubled the the target requirement in the FM, and so this is even though there hasn't been quite the, the change in the economy that we've seen with this, it, it's the complaint is there's just too many targets. You know, too many the point requirement per per target is is just too high. Is that is that the exactly. other exactly? Well, it's the same as the damage. Yeah. Well, well, well it, it, it's it's sort of different. Like, if I if if I'm gonna take, you know, if I'm gonna take uh, ten hours of damage, how many times do I need to take that ten hours of damage? Do I need to take if it? I, if I could do ten hours of damage once, maybe twice a day over four days, I would one hundred percent do that. Yeah. As opposed to you know having to you know. Well, you've got to you've got to do it for. I don't know how many hours to get the to get the points, but it's a hell of a it's a hell of a grind, you yeah. know. When you're doing the have to do the searching as well, and you know that can take you a good couple of minutes to just find one ninety seven if you're uh, a little bit out of luck. And and what happened to me a couple of times? I actually found a ninety seven just as my fleet got there. Poof! It disappeared. Yeah. It reaped. So, you know, and it seems to me that there's very few 90, 97s compared to a lot of the other targets. 
or maybe it's just because everyone's killed kills them off as soon as they appear. I don't know, but you know, you see three three of one particular type around the drag base. So you know, okay. it could be three ninety threes or or whatever, okay. or one one eights or one one twos. Any everything bar a ninety seven. Has anybody, um, I'm not sure we've had on this show, somebody with, I, I think you did it. Did you, you still have the same build, uh, Derpy, last time you hit a 180 on the show? And you yeah. never really hit the 180, you sort of, did you? No, I, I hit the 180 on here. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I I, 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 okay, I remember you sort of like edging up and, and showing the. I definitely started it and I, I finished it too. Okay, okay. Have you seen any improvement um, since well, I, then? I did one today for four hours and 38 minutes, so uh, not really, no. Okay. Um, so I, I do need to work on my driving. Okay. And uh, any ideas for the next uh, the next uh, BP contest? I'm thinking some sort of body art, you know, tattoos, okay. branding. Uh, You're piercing the matching Harlock? Yeah, you know, or, you know, the winner is going to be somebody with like a poorly drawn Greta on their forehead. I think. Well, <laughs> we, we've done the art stuff. We've done the meme contest. You point out, you know, like I can, I might come back. Uh, new content. Let's see. I don't know. Um, ship badges, bases. Um, oh, we could do an insane achievement. I don't know. Um, Best ideas for uh, for targets in in bounty to to kill your fleet. Um, oh, calendars! You can make your own calendar. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite the. Uh, yeah. How many days are in a week? How many how many weeks are in a month? Up to you. You decide. That, that would be. I would participate in that one if they gave us all the information. Yeah, yeah. Designing your own, you know, monthly calendar of events. That would. That would be. Uh, that would. That would I'm, I'm sure that would be gripping for so many people as far as uh, who came up with the best design for that. That would be. Uh, um, I, I would participate though, but I'm not sure how the uh, um, how the public would view that as. Uh, you know, something interesting that they would want to go and look at that thread. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see that. Um, I said not to play it maybe the last day when it's a Sunday. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you'll, well, Saturday, wait, the, the, the next set of, uh, the next set of uh, employee bases come out on, on Saturday. It, it's well, six my time, but, uh, three kicks time is that right? Yeah, it's a uh, three p.m. kicks I time. Yeah, we will see the next set of. Uh, uh, so Aloysius, I would, uh, I would probably recommend uh, starting on Saturday, um, and uh, that way you have twenty four hours of uh, twenty four hours of those targets. So I don't know. Um, I guess we're, uh, I don't know, unless anybody has anything else. Uh, I posted the link in the right-hand side in case anybody would like to join, have any questions. Um, but personally, I, you know, I don't have much much more to talk about. Um, it's, uh, his bount bounty is a difficult one to uh, uh, discuss because it's, you know, at this point in time, it's, 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 uh, um, shipwrecks still going on? Yeah, shipwrecks right now, which is they they finished uh, about two hours ago, didn't they? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so right now it's just hitting the uh, player bases and hitting other player bases. You know, it's uh, so. <clears throat> All right. If nobody has anything else, um, I'm uh, a fresh out of ideas. So. Okay. Um, no, I've had my rant. All right, and um, and we have we had any information? I 
I think at some point Geely said that there's going to be four armor slots on the the photon. EC. Yeah, we were told that it's it's going to be four, but I'll confirm with you later, and we never got a confirmation. So, at least not to my knowledge. Yeah, so at this point, that means you need to get 20 total armors. 10 of each, yep. Yeah, maybe 10 of each, but yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it might be worth, I don't know. Having a couple extras. Yeah, or even waiting until the last week, so you might see what what damage types things might do. But I guess they're not really going to tell us that or anything. So, yeah, if if evade is a, uh, you know, do you need to run a tank for a certain thing or whatnot? So, uh, but they'll be available for another month. But there'll be something else in there um, that you will also need to get. So, okay. Um, if that's it, I guess we will uh, we will see you all on Wednesday and uh, see what the uh, the current state of the Harrower is in. Um, and uh, hope you all have a good time in Bounty and FM. And uh, uh, we'll see you all see you all then. Good night, all. Later, people. Hey,